Well, we've been in our 2022 Grand Design Imagine for over a year now, and we wanted to share some of our warranty issues as well as our thoughts on living in it for a full year. Well, after purchasing our Imagine, just two weeks into owning it, we did have an issue with no hot water, whether on electric or propane. We contacted the dealer and they did ask us to bring it in. Evidently, they were having an issue with the Imagine line and the thermal cutoff. And they did fix it within 30 seconds of looking at it. They did give us an extra one and then we went on Amazon and purchased two more just so that we had them if we had any more issues. We'll put links in the description for these. Uh, that did fix the problem and we had hot water after that. We also had an issue with our awning and had to have our awning replaced and uh, RV Tech came out on site and made that repair for us. Another issue that we are currently having right now that we are resolving uh, with Grand Design is the furnace slash AC. Um, originally they thought it was the thermostat so they sent us a thermostat we tried it it didn't fix the problem and we got another one that also didn't fix the problem it was throwing error codes uh, the problem we were having was the furnace even if it was set at 60 would not shut off the only way we could get it to shut off was by running the fan or the ac in the bedroom now we're currently dealing with another water heater issue it will only work on the propane side. The electric has quit working. It was determined to be the control board. And lastly, we're dealing with a bathroom vent fan uh, has quit working. Now, talking with Grand Design and working through all of these warranty issues has been great. Uh, they've been very helpful. Just know that when you're dealing with warranty issues, it is a lengthy process. Now I get to talk to you about the fun part, the inside of the RV. We have had a lot of fun over the last year, as you can see, decorating this rig. There are a lot of little places throughout the RV that you can add cozy touches to to just make it feel more like home, and that's been a lot of fun. One thing that has felt like a total luxury in this rig is having this kitchen island. I absolutely love this island. It has a ton of storage underneath. We've got three drawers, and then as far as the storage in this rig, we have more than enough. We could still fill some of the emptier spaces. Tons of cabinet space, great pantry, um, overhead storage where the desk area is. Matt usually sits there at the desk area at night and I don't know how I lucked out, but I get the recliners. So we each have our own separate space, which is great. This rig is really, really good for couples. Well, we truly enjoy our 2670 MK and we highly recommend it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. You can also check us out on Instagram where Lori posts all of our beautiful travel pictures. Now get out there and wander. <laughs>